Okay, this is take two. My camera's starting to act up. Um, <clears throat> I'm making this video because of uh, Space Cowboy. I don't believe that's his name. Shit, I, I, I've got ADD pretty bad, guys, so you'll have to excuse me. But um, he made a video showing some really, really interesting uh, chemtrails. These were vertical chemtrails. And, uh, you know, I've seen a couple things like it, so I'm making this video because due to Japan and their um, <clears throat> four complete meltdowns, which will end up killing most of uh, the west coast of the United States of America, maybe a little bit long term, but for the most part, we are now entering into uh, complete tribulation. Uh, for all those Christians that are waiting for, uh, you know, this three and a half year deal, that Obama or somebody's going to sign, and then we got to wait three and a half years on a seven-year deal. Uh, you're 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 missing it. Right now is right now, man, and we are fucked. There's no two ways about it. Okay. Uh, anybody that just saw the video that uh, Christine Garrett just put out uh, with the Fukushima plant in the middle of the night, and you literally can just see glowing dust. I mean, the dust is fucking glowing, and it's just tons of it are, are leaving that plant. Anybody that uh, has not seen it, uh, maybe you don't want to look at it because it, it is, if you have a, any sense in your head, you realize exactly what you're looking at. So what I'm going to tell you about is something that I have personally seen with my own eyes. Um, let me uh, preface it just a bit. Uh, there was a gentleman that I have talked to that was into, uh, you know, totally believed in aliens, was, was into mysticism and dimensional beings and all this stuff and um, <clears throat> you know he told me that you know these guys hide in the clouds and, and uh, I listen to everybody okay and, and there's some stuff somebody may tell me that I've already gone through but for the most part I try to listen to everybody so there was a time where I was really looking at the clouds to see if this guy you know had was there any truth and uh, the weirdest thing is, you know, because I have to drive to my in-laws maybe once a month, and uh, it's about an hour, hour-long drive. We go through a lot of mountain ranges and different things to get there. And I, one day I, I looked at, at these clouds, and they were all oblong. I would say, you know, from my viewpoint, you know, these things are probably three, 400 feet in the air, but they looked, you know, like 100, 200 feet long, something like that. But here's the thing. They, they all were exactly the same size and exactly the same distance apart from one another. It was the fucking weirdest thing. And uh, that got me perked up. So I really, you know, started looking at clouds everywhere I went. You know, I've been fascinated with clouds since I was a child anyway. Um, here's the thing. So one day we, you know, we're going to my in-laws and there's this huge storm. You know, it probably lasted maybe two, two days. But we were driving at like, you know, 5 o'clock, so it would have been like, it was just getting dark. And I noticed some very, very large clouds, and again, totally the same distances apart. This time they were very close to the mountains, and what tripped me out is that they were moving pretty fast, but they were all the same distance apart. Now, what was really, really odd is that they were all sort of slowing down at this one section of the mountain, and there was like a, a, what I would call like a DNA spiral type thing, you know, very, very much thicker, obviously. But it, it was on the mountain, and all the clouds moved through it, stopped for a little bit, and, uh, you know, then would go by like they were unloading something into the mountain. It looked to me like these clouds were stopping and unloading this stuff into the mountain. I have it on film, but, um, again, it was a, you know, it's a phone uh it's a phone, and I'm not going to pay Verizon to uh, get the operating system to put it on my computer so I can transfer the shit. I'm not going to pay it. Um, but I, I can tell you for a fact that I saw this. So uh, just food for thought. Um, with all the shit that's going on, it, it, remember the, the saying, truth is always stranger than fiction. I think... We don't even have a fucking clue what's really going on, no matter how much I fucking read, no matter how much esoteric knowledge I take in, okay? There's, there's just something that is, that is quietly, constantly gnawing at me that I can't explain, but it won't go away. And I have a great sixth sense, okay? I've, I've been shot, I got shot one time, but I've been shot at over nine times. 
in all of that, uh, you know, I was aware of it before it happened. Okay, because even the one time that I got shot, uh, if I had not been as aware as I was and prepared in the way I was, I would have been dead. So, uh, we're at the end game, you guys. They're, they're totally, totally, totally toxifying us in every fucking way, shape, or form. Uh, you know, if you guys are looking at Dr. Deagle, he talks about how the gamma radi radiation is really coming up. Uh, which I would just remind you that the Hulk was, uh, you know, bombarded with gamma radiation and that's how he became the Hulk. So there's some kind of mysticism. Uh, the Antimatter Radio Show also talks about how they dose us with radiation. Take a look at this stuff. Again, uh, I just added a guy to my featured channels right now. And he's got a lot of really, really trippy um, stills of like rainbows. He's got one of these new chemtrails, like I said, with the with the vertical, um, you know, cloud. It's like a little spinning, it's like threads coming from the clouds or out from the earth. The most bizarre thing I've seen in a long time. Uh, stuff that's been removed from the internet. There were tons and tons of uh, footage of actual people flying through the air. I know you're going to laugh. Most of, you know some of you people will laugh about this stuff, but it's all been removed. So if it was if it was such a funny thing, why is it, why is there, you know, is it gone from YouTube? So, much love to you guys. Um, you know, stay as safe as you can and get into your community. I hope you guys are getting ready because it doesn't matter where you live on this planet. It looks like we're going into a giant, uh, as you see the, the revol you know, revolution everywhere. All they're going to do, once that, once that gets to just a, where we think, oh my God, World War III is going to get here, they're going to collapse the whole uh, financial system at the same time. So just double that up. If you look at what's coming, they're going to get rid of, and this is a correction of what I, uh, my video I made about where we'll be in 100 years. The correction is I believe that there will be a quarter of the population now. Um, I haven't been able to speak very well lately. I've been in a, a real funk. But uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of bad stuff happening, so I'll be making some more videos. Uh, I'll start to tell you more about some of the stuff that I personally have seen. Um, I don't see any point of, of, of trying to hold back anymore. I don't think we have a lot of time here. I think uh, we're looking at World War III at any time. If you look at my favorites today, I put a ton of shit on my favorites today. And I'm going to keep doing that. I will put them into my playlists later. But for right now, I'm just, whatever I'm looking at, I'm putting out there if it's got any, uh, if there's any meaning to it. So again, uh, Okay, what's going on, people? Uh, I'm going to put this in the same video. Uh, a moment of silence for uh, Mr. William Weeks. Uh, I spoke to him briefly, uh, once or twice, and uh, he was very kind to me. And he, he, he pretty much told me about the bullshit of YouTube. <sighs> you know, it's just really sad what kind of people would even do this to somebody. I'm just getting tired of not seeing any justice, uh, but anyway, this is a moment of silence for him. Uh, much love to his family. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. So, um, one other story that I had tried in the first take that I didn't put in the second one because, I, like I said, I got ADD pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> There was, you know, I've been on YouTube for maybe about 10 years. I didn't actually make a channel till, you know, last November. Uh, before that, I just, you know, I probably have looked at easy 10,000 hours of video, if not more. Uh, you know, I was literally going nuts with the amount of information that I was taking in until I got shot. Um, I actually had prayed for, uh, prayed for it. And, uh, and, and it was answered, and it did do exactly what I needed. It brought me back down to earth. So what I'm about to tell you, okay, uh, like the other story, any of these stories, if you, I will take a lie detector test if anybody wants me to. I will also get, uh, you know, a psych eval if somebody wants it, as long as it's not from a government agency. Um, you know, I'm not delusional. You know, these are things that I absolutely have seen. So what I wanted to talk about is one of the ladies, before I had an account, there was a woman that uh, made a video. And this video, she, she was in her house, 
and she saw this what, what looked like in the distance this mountain cloud a big cloud coming out of the mountain she literally got in her car and drove all the way up to this mountain and you can see or you could see th these clouds literally clouds coming out of the mountain and she was I must say scared she was very very scared and uh, I contacted her because of the stuff that I had seen uh, with with oddities within clouds I mean I can't say I saw a UFO uh, I've only seen two uh, what I would consider uh, strange things or UFO things uh, I've seen lots of strange things but um, <clears throat> Uh, I contacted her, and her sight disappeared as well as, uh, you know, her. She just, the, the thing just vanished, and the video vanished. Truth is stranger than fiction. There is no doubt in my mind. So, uh, again, uh, Space Cowboy 1954, really trippy channel that I just bumped into. Um, he's got a couple uh, affiliations, too, that have some pretty good video. Uh, most of the video that I saw eight years ago, you know, even up to seven years ago, it's all gone from YouTube. So uh, a lot of stuff that I saw about the dark side of the moon, all these different uh, black and white footage that I saw, all the stuff's gone. So here we are, we've got uh, GMO food, uh, super, you know, ten, 10 or 9 tornadoes setting down at the same time, uh, chemtrails, uh, freaking war. The United States of America is in five different countries right now. Uh, even though they're backed by NATO and other stuff, and, and it's war. And I don't know who's on the right side because, you know, I I have compassion for any good person and any child anywhere. For me, this uh, all the you know civilians that are being killed in all of this is, is terrible. I mean, it's, it's literally for me heart-wrenching to see the amount of insanity. But at the same time, like in Libya, they're finding all these soldiers with... with cell phones and they're recording rapes and, and, and murder and torture. Uh, a friend of mine turned me on, I'm even glad I remember this guy, just turned me on to uh, a wedding party. Some you know, I forgot the, the total details, but the bottom line is the this the Sufis and the, you know these these both of them follow the Quran but they've got some differences. And they went they they literally put cement blocks around fifteen kids' necks and threw them in the river. Okay, there's no God in this world that wants you to do that. It's just, that is fucking insanity. This, this uh, kill or be killed, uh, I'm pure, I'm better, I'm more learned. This shit has got to fucking stop. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to. I think we're way past that point. Um, Christians, we are in tribulation. Um, you know... Christ means anointed. I'm, you know, the spirit of truth for me is the anointing. So I'm not sure where I fall in all of it. But uh, again, I'm alive. I'm above ground. So I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to talk about some of the stranger stuff that I've seen. Um, another weird thing that I saw I was with my wife, and this is just on the 405 in the middle of West LA. It's the weirdest fucking thing I ever saw. There was a, a looked like a Concorde jet uh, going over. And this little, it looked, it looked just like a flare came out. Like, like if you were to see a large, you know, um, the, heck are the, 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 the flies that, what is it what are they called? Whatever the bugs are that, you know, they, their butts light up. Um, it looked like that. It looked like one of those, one of those fireflies. And it, it came out of this Concorde and literally floated into downtown LA. It was this very, very, very strange. I have no fucking idea what it was. Uh, it makes you wish you had a camera all the time. It's something that I thought about today. I'm going to carry a camera with me at all times. But uh, truth is stranger than fiction. Uh, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, all these all these brotherhoods go back to uh, Rome. Uh, there's another lady that I'm really getting into. I think I put her on my feature as well, and that's uh, Beware Traitors. Uh, the, the, the woman is very brave and she's putting out a lot of good information right now. So much love to everybody, man. Let's, let's get together while we got a chance because we're running out of time. Okay. Uh, to the 10 congressmen that have stood up to NATO and the New World Order, 
Uh, I don't know if you're part of a play or not because I, I see a very, you know, like when they say in the round or in the theater, I, I think the world is is just one big theater, personally. I don't trust almost anything that NASA shows me. So, <clears throat> if you look at your history, you follow it all the way back, all roads, you know, all roads lead to, and you should know that. Much love to everybody. Um, it's the weekend. Um, I've got a lot of, lot of bad stuff going on in my life right now, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to give up on all of you guys out there. I really love you, and I'm going to keep working at this. Um, if anybody's read the book Job, my, my life is starting to get to be just like Job. Uh, it, it is my favorite book. I have never uh, blasphemed uh, God or what I consider the unknowable and unnameable. Uh, I have a high respect for what I consider the Creator. I just call Him Father. And um, the essence of my spirit is what I'm going to keep putting out. Um, if it means I'm going to end up crying on here a lot, I, I don't know. But um, my mother is in very, very um, severely bad health. Uh, my father-in-law is not doing well. Um, and as general, a lot of the people that I know just at work um, are having a lot of problems. Uh, it's all going to get compounded greatly with what's going on. And um, this is the time for us to be strong and, and to, to stay our course and to be truthers, to be truth seekers and to be lovers of life. No matter how ugly this place is going to get, we have to understand that we only have one chance to do what we need to do and that's be good people. So I love you guys. Um, be strong, man. Talk to you soon.